सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री एंड वी वर ऑन लेक्चर सिक्स सींग वॉट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ अकम्पलिशिंग आर बेसिक ह्यूमन एस्पिरेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूस हैपीनेस एंड वी स्पोक ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन Um, which involves nine points in this we saw that resolution involves all these from 3.1 to 3.9 whatever has been placed on this slide and if we go through these points 3.1 is right understanding seeing the reality as it is realization 3.2 is the wisdom of seeing my role of what to do with based on what i can see of the reality what is my purpose the wisdom of that and 3.3 is about how to go about it the science of it the process of how to go about accomplishing this my purpose so all these 3 3.1 3.2 3.3 the right understanding the wisdom and the science have to do with the self because i need to see the reality within me i need to identify my purpose based on what i see of the reality and then i need to see how to go about doing it for which i will use the lower activities within the self but all three are to do with the self with this then once i process this once i have the clarity of what to do and how to go about it then along with the help of the body which i am using as an instrument i bring this in my living so i when i interact with other human beings my focus is mutual happiness not just my happiness when i interact with the rest of nature my focus is mutual prosperity not just my individual prosperity so i enrich nature also and in 3.6 i see my role in a larger and larger framework as i awaken to the bigger picture so i my what i call family becomes more and more and more inclusive till there is no boundary left till it is all inclusive includes every other unit other than myself whether it be of the human order or any other order and i see my role in all of this and i take part in it so these 3 3.4 3.5 3.6 are of course involving the self because i am the one who is taking all these decisions and i am giving instruction to the body to do it so i am involving the body also and the outcome of this is what is being referred to as 3.7 3.8 3.9 which is an undivided human society a universal human order where the you know, human goal is fulfilled for all and a sort of a cyclic repeat of this generation after generation as a human tradition this is what is the outcome outside so this we spoke of and we said that this is 
once once we realize the coexistence this is a natural expression of what we have seen now if you go to the next slide even though we may not have reached realization even though we may not have been able to see the reality in its completeness as it is yet we have a veiled form a sort of a we have a glimpse of it it's like seeing through a curtain you don't see clearly but you have some vague idea but you have to look in that direction otherwise of course you will not see it and this is what we are referring to as the natural acceptance so a reflection of what is there in the reality the way it is that is reflected in me and in every other human being in the form of the natural acceptance so because the reality is one this reflection is also the same in all so everybody's natural acceptance is the same now when i see this or when i refer to it this guides me my lower activities my desires my the feelings the thoughts the expectations all of these now are motivated by this my natural acceptance which is a glimpse of the reality that i have within me and we all do so when i keep paying attention to this i have the potential to awaken to my higher activities how is that because some proposals are being given something is being told as a proposal and we receive it where in the thoughts so we hear it and we start thinking about it but thinking analyzing is not enough we need to look at our natural acceptance refer to it and verify that this is proposal is okay for me on the basis of the natural acceptance because that's where the guidance will come from if i don't refer to my natural acceptance and i just go by thinking analyzing this then i may be my decisions may be colored by my own preconditionings which i believe to be true but may not be true so how do i know which is preconditioning and how do i know which is in line with natural acceptance and the preconditioning can also be in line with the natural acceptance so how can i verify whatever i believe to be true this verification has to come from the natural acceptance because from there it is that glimpse of the reality which i don't have the full picture of but if i pay attention to the natural acceptance i find that this is what is naturally acceptable to me so for instance i will find that the feeling of relationship the feeling of harmony and the feeling of coexistence is what is naturally acceptable to me and nothing otherwise so when i refer to my natural acceptance now the verification is very simple because every desire that i have is associated with the feeling this feeling can be colored by my experiences my past experiences my beliefs what somebody has told me based on that i may keep a certain feeling for another unit or another human being 
but if i don't refer to my natural acceptance i may think that this is how it is and i can justify it and say that this is good for me but when i start referring to my natural acceptance for instance we said i have a natural acceptance for feeling of relationship now with this feeling of relationship i can see that at any moment if my feeling is anything other than one of relationship i am uncomfortable and we'll be coming to that today when we go further in exercise 2 and i mean exercise 1 step 2 so this natural acceptance becomes my guide for my feelings now i have verified from my natural acceptance so now whatever preconditioning i had i verify that with this natural acceptance and then if it seems fine then i go further in the processing of how to go about it that's where thought and analysis logic and all those things can be applied so you can see how analysis thinking justifying all of these are lower activities which can be influenced from the outside but it is only the natural acceptance which cannot be influenced by the outside that is coming directly from within that is the pure self that is the pure observer from there i need to take my reference and then this work is happening in the self then after that i need to experientially validate this i need to live according to it and see that yes it works for me how do i do that in my interaction with other human beings i see that this is leading to mutual happiness mutual fulfillment when i work with nature i see that there is mutual prosperity i am also getting prosperous and i make sure that the nature is also enriched so when i am doing all this process as i keep referring to the natural acceptance and i validate the proposal for myself now it is true for me now i know this and as i keep doing this i am able to awaken to the higher activities within me ultimately leading to this um the highest activity within myself that is realization that realization is like an uncovering of what i could already see as my natural acceptance now i can see with clarity the whole picture now there is no doubt it is clear to me that this is how things are in nature and existence in the completeness i can see things that is right understanding but we'll talk about right understanding also more in the next module uh for now i think yesterday there was some questions that we were not able to get to we can do that and we will also look at the assignment yesterday um in the chat in the group i had kept on the assignment we can go to the assignment now on this slide so this was something that um we had kept as the assignment because the first one is whatever is unanswered after uhv2 or you have new questions that have come up since uhv3 
try to note them down and not just note them reflect on them see it's one thing to ask a question and let somebody else answer it and believe it to be true but that's not going to help in the process of exploration exploration means this that when you have a question to explore look into it churn it within yourself refer to your natural acceptance you will start getting answers so therefore the first step to that is to identify what you know and what you don't know and we should not put what we believe to be true in that list because then it is like you don't know if you are believing something but you haven't verified it for yourself then you don't know so whatever questions we have we should put them down so that we can explore them then in the second part we had asked a very simple question if you are unhappy at this moment examine whether it is due to lack of physical facility lack of fulfillment in relationship or lack of right understanding and right feeling or resolution in the self which one seems to be the main cause yes so ravindra kundu ji is saying lack of right understanding and right feeling true because when we don't understand we don't understand the relationship also so we don't understand we don't have the right feeling and if we don't have the right feeling then we don't have fulfillment in relationship also so it is all linked to the main cause being lack of understanding so we need to be able to see that this is significant that this is what we need to do to work for understanding question 3 was is the source of your happiness inside or outside so if it is outside is the source of your happiness inside or outside meaning in living now in my life how is it am i trying to get that source of happiness am i trying to get my happiness from within me or am i still trying to search for happiness outside and if i am searching for it outside like good taste somebody should behave nicely with me others should be like this they should feel have this feeling for me so if this is the, where i am looking for my happiness is there a possibility of continuity of this happiness yes or no you can answer in the chat when i am looking like this yeah no somebody said not sure depends on situation so that means continuity is not there what are we saying yes to it would somebody like to clarify because the question was is there continuity of our happiness if we are looking outside for our happiness is there possibility of continuity of happiness that is the question i don't know what continuous means but yeah most of us can see that this is not something that is continuous nice so these are things to reflect on for ourselves and of course the last thing was 
Science is about how to fulfill human goal and investigate into this statement in the context of present day science. So in present day science, we may be looking at everything in, from the material perspective. But now when we are talking about human goal, and we are talking about development of the self, now you may see a different picture. So one can reflect on that also. So this was about reflections from yesterday. There was some question, I think, regarding natural acceptance. Namaskar, madam. Namaskar to all. Uh, regarding the fourth question, you uh, have just asked us to reflect. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, science, uh, as uh, so far I have seen, uh, to find the uh, truth is the objective. That's good, madam. However, uh, it needs uh, the medium, external medium to find the truth. So, I feel uh, it will uh, never uh, find the truth. Why? Because uh, uh, if we go inside only, we can find the truth. Because the absolute truth uh, cannot be identified with the external source, no matter any medium. Just now you have told, if you refer to natural acceptance, it is no way dependent on any other medium. Yes. So, uh, you cannot find by so-called existing science, but we can find by the absolute sense like what you are discussing uh, yes. uh, yeah, yeah that's what i have found true yeah, see what happens Thank why you. why it's difficult for science to be able to reach these goals is because science is depending on validation through you know instruments the external medium field. yeah external instruments which can measure whatever we you know put up that uh, instrument to do yeah yeah madam and these instruments are very gross compared to understanding of the reality the Directly. subtle yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. what we are able to see through the gross eyes of course we are able to see but that is not giving the picture of the reality the way it is so yes, even the body what we are using to get information about the outside that is not sufficient yes madam so it is giving only a when we go further in the further lectures we will see how it is giving such a small limited view of the outside yes ma'am the details of how things really are all that the subtle part that we have to directly see within. There is no instrument that we have to see outside. But we are the lab. We are the mm. ones, you know, that microscope is within. We have to tune in. We have to sort of get to the viewing by slowly referring, you know, continually referring to the natural acceptance and slowly awakening to the higher activities within. Yes, madam. Yes. Nice. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So if there's any question regarding what we have discussed, we will take it. Otherwise, we'll go forward. But I'm sorry, yesterday at the end I asked one question. Uh, okay, if we refer to natural acceptance again, then uh, definitely we can see the reality as it is. But my question is, are all able to refer to natural acceptance equally? Yes, why not? Oh, okay, okay. If you ask the question, you will get the answer. If you don't ask the question, the natural acceptance is still there, but it will remain dormant. Okay, okay. See, sunlight is there. Ah, oh, madam. But if I open the window, I can see it. But mm -hmm. if I close all my windows and doors, how will I see it? Yeah, 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 madam. It is not there. It is there. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here I just need to refer to it. Mm -hmm. Madam, could you please uh, elaborate uh, the way of reference uh, uh, to the natural acceptance with uh, two to more than two examples? We keep giving this example, no? Uh, sometimes uh, we can understand. Sometimes, suppose if you are very angry, hmm. for example, in my experience, uh, uh, then uh, doing some wrong thing to him satisfies me, no? Because of my anger uh, situation. Because I'm not referring to the natural. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what I. That's uh, that's what I'm asking, madam. Uh -huh. So in that situation. I am unable to refer to natural acceptance means the ability to able to refer or I don't pay attention to it. So inability to pay attention, we can say. <laughs> <laughs> That's inability what practically because of, because of anger, high anger, intensity of anger or intensity of grudge. See, when the moment comes to crisis, we are in that situation. You know, anger is said to be temporary insanity. This is what they refer to it as. Mm, At that moment, okay. I may not be able to refer to my natural acceptance because of that intense emotion that I am feeling. That is yes. overpowering me. Yes, but, but right now, there is no problem. Right? There is no anger. Oh, yeah, I can refer to my natural acceptance. Now, if I reflect back on that situation, when I got intensely angry, I yeah. ask myself this question now, thinking mm -hmm. about that, mm -hmm. recording that incident. I ask myself, what is naturally acceptable to me? Feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition? Yeah, really, madam. You, 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 yes, I can accept with this. Huh. So, so now we are, I uh... got it. For now, I got my answer. Yeah, yeah. But the problem was that I had a feeling of opposition which is not naturally acceptable to me. So yes, now sir. when I do this hmm. and I at this moment have a feeling of relationship for that person within me hmm. at this moment, I will feel that calm, that happiness, that comfort. That gives me the motivation to say, yes, this is the right decision for me. Now if I remember this, Next time when I meet him, then I will choose the right feeling or have the right feeling based on my natural acceptance. But because I forget about this, I don't pay attention to it. I get busy with other things. Again and again it happens. Again I get angry. Again I shout. Again I am unhappy. You will find so many people, they get angry, they shout and then they start crying. Yeah, yeah, madam. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. So you are very uncomfortable. But you don't realize that the cause of the discomfort is not outside. It's within. It is my feeling within. And I can have the right feeling and not be in that state of distress. Mm -hmm. So right now we think when we are angry, we are punishing the other person. We are not punishing the other person. We are punishing ourselves. Yeah, yeah, really. So that fellow will listen to us and go away. Mm -hmm. But we will continue with that. We keep turning that within us. No. All day we might be in the bad mood because of that, what we think is that person's fault. But we'll come to that in the exercises. Yeah, yes, madam. Yeah. Yes, madam. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, very good morning to one and all. Uh, when we are materialistic, means when we have got all the sophistication all around us, why mm -hmm. we are so, so in, in comfort? Why we are not so happy? Yeah, that's the thing. See, because happiness is not a need of the body. It's a need of the self. And the physical things are really going to help the body. We don't realize that the physical things cannot make me happy. Ultimately, happiness is a need of the self. And the need of the self can be fulfilled only by the self with right understanding and right feeling. So when I have the right feeling, I feel happy. I may have all the physical comforts. But if my feeling is not right, I'm unhappy. 
isn't it but when we are having a right feelings that is not echoing with an external environment what do you mean not going with the external environment it's not matching with an external one environment means external uh, externally it is not uh, supporting us in that case no what is not supporting externally means whatever we are thinking in a right way means something mm-hmm. is going wrong and we are trying to correct that particular path the external environment is not supporting in that case so what do you mean give an example no uh means some uh, some decision has been taken from our end and if the external um, um and the what colleagues is this external thing ha huh. okay colleagues are not listening ha huh, yeah ha huh, yeah colleagues they are not supporting then in that case though we have got a good uh, so- sophistication good things but still we are not happy see the whole point is if i am looking for my happiness outside there will be no continuity because you want colleague should listen i have taken the right decision they must also follow my child also must listen the student also must listen my wife also should and the outside neighbors should behave properly government should do this that one should do that it will never end isn't it and i will keep feeling unhappy and i will try to control everything and it's not possible so i am setting myself up for unhappiness on the other hand if i have the right feeling within and this has to be tried and tested experientially validated and we'll do that in the exercise so when i have the right feeling now i find i am comfortable within that's what i wanted in the first place and nothing may have changed outside still i am comfortable and that means more to me than what i was trying to do earlier the earlier i was trying to force the other person to behave a certain way and i caught my unhappiness is because of that person now i might be able to you know see this that when i have the right feeling i am comfortable it's not about the other person it's about my feeling so that shift has to happen that experience once we experientially validate this for ourselves then we know that yes this is true before that it does seem this way what you are mentioning so shall we curtail our thinking shall we yes. narrow down our curtail. thinking there is no curtailing of any thinking i would say ensure the feeling refer to your natural acceptance and ensure your feeling and then see what happens Okay. but we we are getting ahead of ourselves we'll do this when we come to the exercise steps for the steps thank you thank you we already looked at yeah this is a whole listing of the steps but we'll just recall that in step 1 we were saying that we will become aware of our imagination at any moment and every moment and particularly the feeling the thought and the expectation that is there in the imagination and just observe without reacting without changing without doing anything just observe the feeling this is what we said in step 1 and hopefully we are all doing this are we doing this every day are we observing our imagination or have we forgotten about it <laughs> yes nice so now in step 2 what we are doing is yes nice so in step 2 what we are doing is we are trying to evaluate this feeling and the thought that i have at the moment so in step 1 we were just observing what kind of feeling do i have now in step 2 i am evaluating this feeling i am asking myself 
is this feeling that I have at this moment naturally acceptable to me or not naturally acceptable to me? Is it natural for me? Is it in accordance with human nature or not? Do I want the continuity of this feeling or not? This is a very important point. Firstly, asking the question, is it naturally acceptable to me or not? You will get a clear indicator. Secondly, do I want the continuity or not? This is further, you know, proof that, yes, it is, you know, the decision that I got from the natural acceptance was the right one. Because you will find that, you know, when you are evaluating this feeling, if there is a feeling that is not naturally acceptable, you will find that you don't want the continuity. And if you have a feeling that is naturally acceptable, then you want to continue with that feeling. But having said this, we're not saying that you try to continue or hold on to any feeling or thought. So if you have, supposing some feeling gives comfort, like earlier it was mentioned, we may look back at past memories within us, which were happy memories, and keep thinking about that, recalling that, and being happy. What is that? That is, we are trying to hold on to those feelings based on that memory. So that's not what we are saying. Don't do that. At the same time, don't try to change or stop the feeling or thought that is making you uncomfortable. Just observe the feeling as it is and evaluate it without any reaction. So you observe the feeling, you see is it naturally acceptable or not and see if you want the continuity or not. That's all. Just see it and evaluate it. So I would say for 10 minutes, let us try to do this. It might be fruitful to recall, maybe for now, just to try to do this exercise, try to recall some incident where, which was, which left you unpleasant or which left you with feeling uncomfortable and try to recall this feeling that you had at that time and ask yourself these questions and then you can keep reflecting on the feeling that you are having at any moment and ask these questions. Don't try to stop the feeling, don't try to change the feeling. Don't try to justify, don't try to hold on to a good feeling, but ask these questions. So shall we do this? We'll do this for 10 minutes and then we'll take your observations. I think we'll keep this slide on so that our focus is there on what we are observing. And uh, then we'll take your reflections on this. I'll mute myself here. Okay, we have been observing for about 10 minutes now. We were asking to evaluate this feeling. See, is it naturally acceptable to us or not? Is it in accordance with human nature or not? Do I want the continuity of this feeling or not? And we can take your observations. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, reminded of one incident. Mm -hmm. uh, my best friend 
uh, uh, lives in USA. And uh, I was facing some problem one year back. Uh, uh, my mother-in-law was bedridden and I was just uh, wanted some advice on some uh, topic. I called her, uh, but she did not pick up pick my phone and said, I'm busy. I would, uh, we will talk tomorrow. And this happened a couple of times. And then uh, he stopped calling her. Uh, she realized after some time that I am not sending any message and I'm not calling her. She tried to contact me, but I did not pick her call. Even mm -hmm. sisters also tried to contact me, but I did not respond. Mm -hmm. And um, it took me one year to overcome that feeling of, uh, you know, anger. I was angry that I needed her at that time, but she was not there for me. After one year, I was just, I just wanted to talk to her. I uh, sent message and I called her and she picked up my phone. Mm -hmm. But uh, this feeling that I want to talk to her, it took me one year. You know, it was quite a long time. My feeling changed only after one year. You know, uh, we I hold on to this. See, this is what we do. We hold on to this, and it's like punishing ourselves. Yeah, doing this, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of her all the time, uh, but I was angry. Yes. I, yeah, it took me. Uh, you know, uh, now I regret that that I lost one year. <laughs> She, That's okay, but at least we are able to see it now. People go through lifetimes like this with yeah. envy, with you know, anger. Yes, but you are able to see that this is not naturally acceptable to you. Yeah, yeah, and you don't want the continuity of this kind of feeling. Yes, ma'am, I realize now. Yes. So, this is what we have to do, it's up to us. Whether we take one year to come out of it, whether we take one month, one week, yeah. one day, one minute, or not at all. All those choices are there within us. It is just that we have to be able to see it. So like you're saying, it took one year for you to see it, but somewhere at least you could see that. Yes. I would say, you know, whatever has gone past is past. Let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the present. You know, from now, we can start referring to our natural acceptance so that we don't have similar incidents in our life again. Because you can see how unpleasant it is. Yeah, and how, exactly. You know, how uncomfortable it is. Isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Nice. Okay, Didi. Thank you. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste to all. Uh, ma'am, uh, in last two years back, I had even bad incidents in the family. I recall that incidents once again. Uh, that is the Actually, the, my expectation with the family member, my daughter and my husband, they are not fulfilled my expectation. So that I tried like anything. I spent a lot of time. Uh, I am so uncomfortable uh, like that. I spent a lot of time like years together. But uh, same incidents, uh, incident uh, when I recall, sit and recall, uh, really... Uh, I am not uncomfortable feeling, you know. Uh, I thought that uh, through this journey, uh, my expectation level is reduced with the family members and all. Maybe because of that reason, uh, I accept the relationship as it is. Uh, I thought 
that's why i am not feeling uncomfortable is it so ma see recall the time uh, that you had the feeling were you uh, comfortable or uncomfortable that time when you I, had no i am no uh, not now uh, that time, that time. Uh, that time i am not uncomfortable i spend a lot of time uh, with that uh, state only so you were comfortable or uncomfortable at that time with that feeling Un uncomfortable unhappy uncomfortable. uncomfortable because you had that feeling at that time isn't yeah, it ma yeah now you are recalling the incident mm -hmm. but now you are over that right now mm -hmm. the feeling you may be having is not one of now you can see that you know that was perhaps not realistic your expectation or they were mm -hmm. not able to fulfill that expectation now you may have a different perspective yeah ma'am yeah that they lack competence i won't say that you have to reduce your expectations because you will still expect something no in mm -hmm. relation mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you will also be uh, accepting that everybody may not be able to fulfill your expectation mm -hmm. so your happiness will not depend on it you can have the right feeling mm -hmm. and still have that expectation mm -hmm. but you will you know if you have understanding you will have more realistic expectation that you know although expectation is there but mm -hmm. it may not be fulfilled and that is not a reason for my unhappiness i can yeah you know still be with the right feeling mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see that they lack competence and try to see what i can do to build their competence mm -hmm. yeah ma'am one more question ma'am uh, okay. actually in the last class uh, explanation uh, see the reality as it is uh, mm -hmm. uh in the like a first understanding level in the first step uh i can see that uh, nature uh, like a physic uh, physical things uh, as it is but i when think about the relationship like a uh, husband daughter son or mother like that uh, uh, i i i feel that personally i am not seeing those relation uh, persons uh, as it is that is uh, uh, husband means i have some some uh, he is he is to be like this like that uh, we are have some uh, uh, feeling about the persons uh, uh, i thought that uh, we are, i am not seeing that Uh, as it is reality like uh, another self yeah, even now uh, what some, we think some, we are seeing uh -huh. as it is in nature uh -huh. that may not be so uh -huh. when we talk about it in detail uh -huh. we'll see largely we focus uh -huh. just on the shape the form sometimes uh -huh. little uh -huh. bit about the property but uh -huh. there is much more to see uh -huh. so seeing the reality as it is has a very mm -hmm. vast range we may mm -hmm. not be having the competence to be able to see that right mm. now so mm -hmm. similarly we have many assumptions about how mm, others yeah, will be so we mm -hmm. see things based on that but mm -hmm. we need to see how things really are mm. anyway we'll discuss it more uh, tomorrow we yeah, have to stop because time is up thank you yeah thank you but this is what we need to do all day today observe the feeling and evaluate it